every human being who reaches the age of understanding of the purpose of money wishes for it. Wishing will not bring riches, but desiring riches with a state of mind that becomes an obsession, then planning definite ways and means to acquire riches and backing these plans with persistence, which does not recognize failure, will bring riches. Today is Napoleon Hill. Let's face it, whether you are 20-something or you are older, you want to make money, lots of it. I am yet to see anyone who wants to be permanently betrothed to poverty. Even religious folks who claim to despise the desire still realize the need for money and work to earn it. The world's economy and its continual existence remain because of the availability of money. The instant money is taken out of our system, there will be trouble. If money is this important, even for your well-being, then it is crucial that you not only learn to manage it, but know how to make it and keep making it. There are thousands of get-rich-quick schemes that promise to make you rich overnight, but I have found, in my years of running businesses, that it is always the simple things which we overlook that gets us giant results. When you pay attention to the things that matter, you won't always struggle the way others struggle to make money. I read a quote where the author said, The person who doesn't know where his next dollar is coming from usually doesn't know where his last dollar went. You don't have to be rich to be happy. Having money doesn't equal happiness. But you sure will need to make lots of money to get most of your dreams achieved. Even if you're in your 20s, it's not bad if you learn to make lots of money now. So learning the secrets to making lots of money is crucial to understanding how this works. Below I share with you three powerful secrets I have learned about making lots of money. 1. Know what people want, not need. It may seem like age-old advice, but knowing what people want is an excellent way to start to make lots of money. Zig Ziglar said, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. A lot of businesses and entrepreneurs fail because they offer people what they, the business owner, want. Think for a moment someone who wants to start a lemonade business because he thinks he makes the best lemonade. This may be true, but if people aren't interested in lemonade, he isn't going to sell a thing to them. This is the reason companies spend millions of dollars studying customers' behavior. They want to find out exactly what people are interested in. There are few exceptions where businesses have created a need and still meet that need. The automobile company and smartphone companies are an example. Henry Ford said, If I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Instead, he made cars. But only after studying and observing exactly a need that it would matter to people. People hardly spend money on preventive measures. They mostly spend on cures. People don't buy what they need. They buy what they want. We all know fruits and vegetables are good for the body, but a large population prefers soda drinks and junk foods, which all destroy the body. So if you give people what you thought they need, but not what they want, you will miss earning lots of money. Unless you are planning to start a flying car company or build automobiles that walk on water, you should find out exactly what people want and before you think you can do it by going to ask them what they want. Late Gary Halbert, who was an exceptional copywriter and prolific marketer, said it isn't always the best approach to ask people directly what they need or want. Instead, find out what they are buying. Gary said people could tell you what they need to sound cool, but too often, they buy something different from what they say they need. So observe what people are buying, not what they say they are buying, and then you will be able to find out what they want. What people buy more is what they want more. And this is one of the secrets big businesses used to make lots of money. 2. Know where to find them It's great to discover what people are buying, but it's sad when you create the product they want but do not know where to find your customers. Your business ends with your customers. In my few years running businesses, I have seen naive entrepreneurs place so much importance on branding and aesthetics in place of knowing where their customers can be found. As much as branding and aesthetics are essential for your business, you must equally be interested in where to find your customers. Are they online or offline? Are they in a forum or a community group? Will you always find them in golf clubs or a soccer field? Apple INC created smartphones, and since millennials mostly use smartphones, their ads are often towards them, exactly where millennials can be found online. Coca Cola doesn't need to spend so much time on online adverts because they serve a vast majority of the world's populace. Knowing where your customers are is requisite to make a ton of money because this is the place where your marketing will be targeted. Keep your sales pipeline full by prospecting continuously. Always have more people to see than you have time to see them," said Brian Tracy. 3. Know how to sell them Zig Ziglar wrote, 
The objective of every sale is to make certain the customer gets fair value. And if he gets more than fair value, not only do you have the sale, but you've built a customer who will, in turn, help you build other customers. If you don't know how to sell, you won't know how to make money. Before the CEO of Under 40 TV started his first company, he was dead broke. But one night, he had an idea he was sure would sell. The next morning, he packaged this idea and walked into the office of a total stranger. He spoke with this stranger who was a successful businessman for over an hour, convincing him about the viability of the business. By the time he left that office, the stranger had bought into his idea and invested in it. Of course, the business succeeded immensely. I often hear a lot of young people, even older people, say they don't know how to sell. See, if you don't know how to sell, you don't know how to make lots of money. Selling isn't just about marketing products, it's also about marketing yourself. If you can't sell yourself well, you can't make the kind of financial stride you need to keep you above the poverty line always. Learn all you can about selling yourself and your business to prospects. There are different approaches to doing this based on your type of business. Before launching most of his products, Sir Richard Branson is always in the habit of testing them live in front of an audience. This grabs their attention and convinces them of the viability of the product. Apple INC organizes events to launch their products. So customers are already thirsty for the product before it hits the market. Brian Tracy suggests another sales tactics by saying, approach every customer with the idea of helping him or her to solve a problem or achieve a goal, not of selling a product or service. To learn more about how to sell to your customers, I recommend you read Joe Girard's book titled, How to Sell Anything to Anybody. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.